We played a lot of Sadie Hawkins dances. We played a lot of dances where people couldn't dance very well because we weren't really a dance band. Everyone would be staying at the back of the hall. They wouldn't even be coming near us like we were contagious or something. We probably bummed out a lot of people on their high school memories. I, I was trying to do this full time and stay alive, and the three of them were still in high school. They were pretty much a part time band playing high schools on weekends, and they were practicing at getting at Alex's house. rehearsing in my basement and playing with these guys. They weren't Jewish guys. We were really loud, and it didn't sound anything like music to my family. They just thought I was nuts. They thought I was probably a drug-taking freak. So they were scared. They were freaked out. They didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to handle it. The whole neighborhood was just bumping because the music was so loud and everything was vibrating. I really didn't like it. It wasn't my kind of music, you know. Perry Como was my kind of music. <laughs> Alex's mom and I used to talk always on the phone, cry at each other's shoulder. It was hard because he, he wanted to just play and practice and he couldn't study. He would go to sleep late, couldn't get up. And that's why he said, I'm quitting grade 12, and we were very upset. Like, I don't want to make a bunch of money. Like, if I make a lot of money, that's great. But I'm not going to go to university and get a big degree. Hang on. No, I don't. I, I, don't, I, don't, want, I don't want to drive around in a big car and, see, and get people to go, hey, there goes Alex. He's loaded with money, and wow, he's really set himself up great. But I don't see why I have to go through all the, the bullshit of high school to learn music. It's not that we're forcing Alex to go to university right now or anything. We're just asking a little favor of him just to finish grade 12. And then he's on his own. We wanted for him to be something, you know, to have education. I was a little bit worried about his future. If he doesn't finish high school, what's going to happen? And if the group doesn't succeed, you know, it was tough, you know, it was tough to go through that. You know, the thing is, my parents were right. I thought I knew everything. I have said to you, Alex, I want you to be free to expand. You know, they came from Yugoslavia. People were getting killed everywhere. My dad was in prison camps. You know, they came to Canada, and their kids are everything. That was, I'm sure, a great disappointment to them, that I wasn't going to do something that was more professional. The whole idea of leaving school was a stressful decision, but, you know, at that age, I was just wanting to be a kid. And there was so much heaviness in my family's life, being Holocaust survivors, losing your dad at 12. I kind of wanted to run away from that a little bit. To my mother, it was the equivalent of joining a circus, really. She didn't see any music in what we were doing. This was just madness. And she didn't really get it until she one day, years later, saw me on television. And then it kind of, oh, oh, he's an entertainer, <laughs> you know. Now I understand what he's doing.